Hey everyone, it's Lillian again. I'm coming back with another video. Um, so I just wanted to do a video, as the title says, about neem oil. So that's N-E-E-M. And this is the bottle that I have. It's a glass bottle. Um, and this one is from the country of India. So I purchased this oil because I was looking up um, just oils or just products, preferably natural products that would be good for scalp health, uh, that would help with like preventing itching and all that stuff because I've had issues with my scalp since I was a child. Um, it's gotten significantly better, but like back when I was like young, like, I don't know, maybe like six, seven, like sometimes I would get like these like patches of God knows what and it was just like disgusting and it was just gross um, and then in my teens I think it reduced to just like normal dandruff here and there and now even in my 20s I was like it was it was more like an itchy scalp it wasn't necessarily dandruff anymore it was just itchy scalp um, so I looked this up among some other oils um, and this one like I've never heard of it but it had like really Based on what websites were saying, it was like really, really good. So I'm just going to read you what I found and then I will tell you my thoughts on this product. So um, it says that it's good for dandruff prone people. Um, it relieves dandruff. It uh, stimulates hair growth. And apparently it's good for treating head lice and it has antifungal properties um, and their suggestion is to like when you're using it don't use it straight um, dilute it in certain oil so in, on this particular website it says dilute equal parts 50 50 of neem oil with either sweet almond or sesame oil and gently massage oil into the roots of the hair and scalp allowing it to work for 30 minutes cleanse your hair with a natural cleanser now that I'm reading this I'm like that makes a lot more sense than what I did <laughs> oh well well I'll tell you what I did and um, we'll take it from there also it says that uh, like I said it promotes promotes hair growth and prevents baldness um, and yeah it's an it has antioxidant properties it's anti-inflammatory and it has antibiotic properties and it helps with the people who have scalp psoriasis which I think that's what I had as a child actually and um, at that point when I was like six seven years old my doctor had given me medication for that um, and then there's a whole bunch of other things but we're just here to talk about scalp health so what I did because I think I had looked at a different website uh, when I initially <laughs> used it and not this um, so what I did was I used my main oil as uh, I used sweet almond oil and then I literally before combining the neem into this the almond oil I took a whiff of that it smells disgusting it's so gross i'm like people use this like just on their body period like scalp hair wherever period i'm like it smells horrid um and i i smelled i'm like i can't pinpoint what it smells like and then i was reading on a, another website where it's like um it kind of has like a garlic smell but like I love garlic and I'm like it smells like a rancid version of garlic <laughs> and um, I was looking at other websites and people were like yeah it kind of smells like spoiled garlic and people said there, there was a nutty flavor to it I don't know where they got that scent profile from because I just smell rancid garlic um, so yeah so I mixed as so I put the almond oil I put like a little bit not even I didn't do 50 50 because I'm like that smells horrid I put like maybe 25% to what I put it for the almond oil and then I put in some tea tree oil to help like um, cut the scent a bit and another oil I think it's 
I, I apologize if I pronounce this wrong. I think it's called Lang Lang, like Y L A N G times two. <laughs> and um, because those are, both those smell really really good. Um, and yeah, it cut the scent a little bit, but not a lot. And I think next time around, I will probably put more of the Lang Lang oil. Um, and some other people have said that they put in, uh, I don't know if it was lavender, it was another essential oil and it helped to cut it down, but like apparently there's no way to like get rid of the scent completely. So thankfully I, I washed my hair on a Friday night and like after I washed and conditioned, I put that mixture on my scalp and I just like massaged it in. Um, and since I knew I was not going to be around anybody outside of my immediate family um, for like 48 hours, um, I'm like, okay, hopefully the scent will wear off because um, I have to go to work in person tomorrow, actually. Um, so I'm like, oh, because though we're wearing masks, you can smell things through that mask, let's be honest. Unless you're wearing like an N95 mask, which works uh, at preventing anything to come in the regular blue masks you could smell things so um yeah it's been about 36 ish hours since i've washed my hair and like massaged my scalp and i can thankfully say that the scent has like it's practically gone it's practically gone thank god because yeah i can't walk around smelling foul um but yeah so in terms of or the question of like did it work for you Lillian I want to say yes like my scalp like even if I was to put some type of quote-unquote scalp oil that has been advertised to me by these companies um and I put it on like the same way that I would that I put this mixture um while I'm like styling my hair like twisting it or whatever even during that twisting process um I would my scalp would still be like itchy. I'm like, the heck? So this time around, I, I did that. I was twisting my hair. Not once during that time did my scalp feel itchy. And we're on like day two-ish now. The fact that I haven't like had to like scratch my head at all is a miracle. Um, and yeah, so I think that it, I do think that it works considering I'm okay. And would I repeat it during the week? No, I would not. I would only do it um, during wash day when I know that there's going to be a gap of time between me being around anybody outside of my family. Um, during the week, I'd probably use another type of oil that um, does not smell horrid. But I just wanted to let you know it, it does work if you do have scalp issues. Give it a try. Um, you could also do like what the website says by putting the concoction in and then rinsing out your uh, rinsing it out. Um, but yeah, do what works for you. Experiment and yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, I could do my best to answer them or direct you in the right direction or what I think might be the right direction. And yeah, uh, please subscribe and I will see you in another video. Bye.